good? And all the time. One more time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. I am gonna hide, oh Lord, a behind, far behind of the mount, oh Lord, the mountain, Lord, and I'm gonna hide, everybody say, hide behind, Lord, oh, the mountain, Lord, the mountain, Lord, and I'm gonna hide, everybody sing, hide behind, Lord, oh, the mountain, Lord, and I'm Amen. 
all right, oh Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You in the dirt, oh Lord. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. We need you. Thank we come, you. Father. Appreciation unto you, oh Father. Mm -hmm. so, and the best and simplest word of God, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Father, for the life that you have given us, oh Father. Amen. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the heart that you have given us. Thank you. You've allowed us, oh Lord, to not just try you, but to try what we thought were options, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Found out, Lord, there is no other way. Found out, O oh Lord, that there is no other opportunity. Mm -hmm. You are the only real Father. Yeah. You are the we're one. looking at you, O oh Lord, as and we're depending on the promises that you made us, O oh Father. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're looking at you, O oh Lord, and grasping as hard as we can, O oh Father, mm -hmm. to latch hold of you, Father. Not let you go. Mm -hmm. Many things come before us, oh Father, to knock us off track, right. to make us doubt, oh Lord, mm -hmm. to make us wonder. Mm -hmm. yeah. But oh Father, you have given us really a roadmap for life, oh God. You have given us all that we need. Mm -hmm. And we just come this morning to say thank you. Thank you. Yes. We come to say, oh God. We don't just want to use you. Well, we want to be used by you. Uh -huh. yeah. well, we have well. a duty to you, oh God. Yeah. And many of us, oh Lord, have been wondering, wondering for a good portion of our lives what we should do. Uh -huh. yeah. Where do I fit in? Uh -huh. How do I fit in? Uh -huh. What skills, what attributes do I have to offer them? Uh -huh. to offer and to our fellow believers. Uh -huh. And Lord, some of us may have notions. Some of us may have ideas. Uh -huh. But you know the answer, Lord. Oh, Lord. You know the answer. And we ask you this morning, oh God, oh God to show us where we fit. Uh -huh. How we fit in. And not let us be afraid to fit in. Because uh -huh. yeah. you said there's a place for everyone. Uh -huh. All you have to do is come. Mm -hmm. So we're asking you, Father, to open up our hearts mm -hmm. to understand what you would have us do. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are not here to serve ourselves. Mm -hmm. not, and, but we are here to serve one another. Uh -huh. right? We serve <clears throat> one another through serving you, oh God. Mm -hmm. We bless you. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, oh God, for, for just giving us another day. Uh -huh. Bless you, Lord, and we ask you, oh God, to continue to guide us. Mm -hmm. Continue to forgive us of our sins and my preservations. <coughs> I ask you, dear Lord, to bless those that are not with us today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Asking you, dear Father, for those that are on their way or wherever they may be, oh God. Mm -hmm. Our families and our friends, yeah. our fellow church members, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Bless them, oh God. Keep your arm and protect them around them, oh God. Mm -hmm. For we know not what is laid live ahead for them. We just ask you, oh Lord, to have mercy upon us. Yeah. Yeah. Have mercy upon us, oh Lord, and allow yeah. us, oh God. Find that that duty that we should be working on. I just want to say, bless you, Lord, and thank you. Thank you, thank you again. There's not enough thank yous. There's not enough praise, oh God, mm -hmm. man, to uh, give you the glory of God. Just do it, oh Lord. Just bless you, my Father. Bless you, oh God. And Continue to grow in your name, O oh Father. Continue to grow in our hearts and our lives, O oh Lord. And not that we be seen to glory. Not 
that we can be free in the blood. But all that we do be in honor and to glorify your name. Yeah. Because our prayer of God in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So church, you ever wake up in the morning and some of your bones aching a little bit more than they, they used to, amen? amen? Or maybe it's just me, I Lord. Just, just Somebody told me that once you hit 50, sometimes the parts of your body that used to work don't work the same no more. Amen. And this morning I was dragging a little bit. I was hurting in some places I didn't even know I had this morning, amen? And when I started moving slow, I started thinking about my mama. And if, if you can make it 81 years and she still get up and get here, I was like, Jay, you ain't got no excuses. You better go ahead and get moving. Amen. That's why I got way more thankful with this 51-year-old body when I started thinking about her 81-year-old body, Lord. Amen. So, so the, the, the thought that I had this morning is whatever you have, just bring it to the Lord. Whatever you got. Whatever problems, whatever trials, whatever headaches, aches, and pains, yeah. just pack it all up yeah. and just bring it to church with you and, and let's try to bring it back 10, 15, praise God. Amen. Amen. Let's make our best effort Amen. to bring everything we got Amen. back 10, 15. Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. 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 my yeah. Yeah. try And I need you so, 
And I am asking right now That you never leave Cause I need your soul And only Jesus Brings me through Every single word Every single word I say Oh, oh, oh My trials Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord I say Oh, my cares Oh, my cares Oh, my cares I really love him, let me hear your hallelujah. 
to magnify the Lord. Come on and sing it. And a word shall be a worship him and a we have come to Come on, let me hear you sing. We will magnify the Lord and we will worship him. A worship him and a we have come to the time. We will magnify the Lord and we will worship him. this morning for our health and for our strength. Amen. We're thankful for you who thought it not robbery to be here on the Lord's day Amen. to give him all the glory and all the honor and all of the praise. Amen. We're thankful this morning that we don't have a casket Amen. as our laying place. Amen. We're thankful this morning that the undertaker did not wash and dress our bodies. But God has given us, Brother Elliot, one more chance to give him glory, Sister Jewel, to give him honor, and to give him almighty praise. We're thankful for your presence this morning, as we said. Uh, We have several who are out of town this morning uh, who uh, thought it not robbery to let their preacher know, and we're grateful for that. So we don't worry about their welfare. Right. Amen. 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 Uh, well, I remember one person asked me, Brother Johnson, what well, is it necessary for your members to tell you they're going to be gone? I said, what kind of question is that? Uh, we are our brother's keepers. Uh-huh. And we ought to submit ourselves up under the authority and rule of those who have been placed before you as your leader. Uh-huh. Because the Bible said they watch. For your soul. Amen. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. No, we're not your father. Right. But the Bible yeah. said we watch yeah. for your soul. Amen. So we're thankful Joe and Tyra Dean are out of town this morning. We're praying for their safe travel. Brother Hollis and Sister Kim Spence are out of town this morning. Mm-hmm. And will be tr- returning sometime late this evening. We're praying for their safe travel. Mm-hmm. Sister Martha Evans is working this morning. And we desire the prayers of the church. So Sierra Fields is not feeling too well this morning and also uh, ask for the prayers of the church and will be uh, online with us. Sister Tamika Robinson has text this morning and she uh, will be joining online this morning. She's not with us. And then Brother Cliff Pugh uh, is out today and he sends his love to the church and he's asking for your prayers. Uh, I want you to prepare your hearts and minds for prayer in just a moment, but I want to just read one verse of our text. You don't have to stand again. One verse of our text, and we'll get into the lesson after a word of prayer. Uh, conform to his image. And this is the conclusion, Brother Elliot, of part four. Uh, I'm going to try today to give y'all some time back, Brother Black. I went nine minutes over last week. <laughs> and I'm going to try to, David, I'm going to try to give y'all some time back. I ain't going to promise you now. No. Uh, but but I, got, I got part five ready now. Uh, but uh, Sister Gray, I'm going to try to behave myself. All right. Morning. The Bible says in verse 29 of Romans 8, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Father God, we come in the righteous and holy name of Jesus, your son and our dear beloved Savior. We're thanking you, Lord, for all grace and mercy. We're thanking you for waking us this morning and starting us on our way. Father, we're thankful that we didn't need canes or walkers. We're thankful that our legs are not in braces. 
We're thankful, Father, that when our mind told our bodies to move, our bodies responded. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise because millions did not make it. And Father, the fact is that some woke up simply to die. So we glorify you and we magnify your holy name. Father, we're praying this morning for those we have lifted before you this morning. Some out of town, some working, some not feeling well. Father, we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus to provide their every need. Mm -hmm. There may be someone here sitting in this sanctuary or in the cyber sanctuary, Lord, that have some heaviness on their heart. Mm -hmm. They have some concerns about their family. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask now that you prick their hearts, that you touch them through this word, that they will be able to give their burdens to you and to lead them there. Mm -hmm. It is our sincere prayer now that you use me as a humble vessel of honor, mm -hmm. that you will take my personality and hide it behind the cross, mm -hmm. and that this body of people will have already prepared their hearts to receive an engrafted word from your word, mm -hmm. and that they will receive this word understanding that it is not the words of Brother Miles, mm -hmm. but the word of God mm -hmm. that they should conform to. This is our prayer. We ask in your holy son Jesus' name, let us all say amen. 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 Once again, I won't go in detail in this little review, uh, because thank God for technology, Sister Black. You're able to go back and look at it on Facebook and YouTube, uh, if that's your desire. Uh, but I do want to just remind you uh, that we are still talking about conforming to the image of Christ. Uh, we started... Uh, talking about the what of this study, this text, this golden text, Romans 8. Uh, Brother Marcus, we talked about the who of the study, and uh -huh. last week we began talking about the what about of the text. Uh -huh. And we gave you the de defining term uh, of image, uh, that it, this noun uh, means a representation, let me start my clock, a representation of external form of a person or a thing, and especially in art. Uh -huh. it, it means the general impression that a person, organization, or product presents to the public. Now, I want you to get this, Selena. Watch this again. This is the second definition, Jay. A general impression. Y'all got that? Uh -huh. That a person organization or product presents to the public. It's something that's already, Brother uh, Elliot, on the inside of you right. that you make known, Brother Black, on the outside mm -hmm. of you. Uh -huh. All right? And, and, and we told you that uh, uh, this, this also, this term image uh, also refers to something that is a simile or could be used like a metaphor. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we, we said that it is a representation. Let me hear you say representation. representation. It is a representation. Now watch the word, Jewel. It is a representing of what you've already been presented. Right. Did you hear what I said, Brother, uh, 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 Brother David? It is a representing of what you have been presented. Uh -huh. It's not what you want to present, uh -huh. but what has been presented to you by God. Mm -hmm. It's not what you want to give, Brother Marcus, but it's what's been given to you, Sister Oliver, by God. Uh -huh. It is not, Jay, a telling of what you want to tell, but it's what God has already told. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. Uh -huh. It is not a showing yeah. of what you want to show, but it's about showing, Sister Miles, what God has shown you. Uh -huh. That's why we get in trouble when we start saying ignorant things like, this just the way I am. That's one of the most ignorant statements that someone can make to show your, your spiritual immaturity. Because how many of you know that we serve a God, Sister yes, Brady, sir. that loves us enough uh -huh. to call us in the sad condition we're in? Yeah. Iris, he loves us enough 
to see us dirty with sin. But yet, David, he calls us as we are. But he loves us too much to leave us in the sin sick situation that we are in. Right. Therefore, therefore, we never get a chance, a second chance. To make the first impression again. Uh -huh. I said we never get a second chance, Sister Tori, to make the first impression again. Right. Therefore, our first impression must be about Jesus. Uh -huh. I was talking to a faithful saint, a faithful sister of this church, who had some challenges in her life. And, and you know, you know, some folk will not get on your first nerve. Stephanie, they will get on your last nerve. Yes, sir. And Jay, if we just be honest about it, Lord. sometimes we want to put our hand on our hip, let our backbone slip, yeah. roll our head, and cut somebody flat foot out. Yo, okay, y'all go ahead phony up in here. Ain't none of y'all been there in your life? No. When you wanted to just cuss somebody out? Yeah. And you ain't never been there in your life where folk have pushed your last button. Yeah. And, and uh, maybe I'm saying the wrong word, wanted to. Some of y'all done did. Yes, sir. Yeah, you done did it. And, and it made your flesh feel good, Jalen. When you can, I mean, cuss them out like on the west side of Chicago. Not curse them out, but cuss them out. But how many of you know that that's not conforming to the image of Christ? And I was thankful to hear my sister say, Brother Miles, I wanted to cuss them out, but I just wanted them to see Christ. Yeah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then we start from point number one, that we ought to see like Christ sees. Mm -hmm. I said we ought to see yeah. like Christ sees because what our job is, Brianna, is to, to conform to the entire character of Christ. Yes, sir. Yeah. And one of the things is we ought to see like Christ sees. He sees with divine sight. Mm -hmm. I said he sees with divine sight. And because Christ had godly sight, he kept his eyes on the will of of God, yeah. the very plan and scheme of salvation. He kept his eyes on the old ship of Zion. Uh -huh. He kept his eyes on the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. And so, the Brother Tabor, this term, uh, kingdom, yeah. and I'm going to show you in just a minute, it is uh, a multiplicity term. Uh, it means more than just one thing. Uh -huh. Sometimes it refers to the church, yeah. and sometimes it refers to the reign All right. and the will of God. Uh -huh. But let me move on, so I won't keep you too long. In my closing, <laughs> y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come quickly and notice <laughs> our power verse. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Matthew chapter 6, <laughs> okay. and verse number 33. Jesus says, David, uh, Jesus says, if you're going to see like me, okay. you're going to have to seek like me. Uh -huh. right. Did you hear what I said, Sister Oliver? Jesus says, if you're going to see like me, right. you're going to have to seek right. like me. Uh -huh. This term, seek, Brother Elliot, 2212 is a strong reference number. If you're taking notes, seek. Uh, the word here is zeteo. Let me hear you say Zeteo. Zeteo. And it means, watch this, Brother Tabon. It means to search for. It means, Sister Black, to desire. Brother Black, it means to require. Uh -huh. Let me hear you say require. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch this, watch this, Market. It also means to demand. Yes, sir. It means, watch this, it means, uh, Brother George, to seek by inquiring. Uh -huh. yeah. To investigate, to keep an understanding, to get to the bottom of a matter. Uh -huh. Listen, you are not going to seek like Christ if you don't have a desire to know like Christ. Yes, to right. seek means to investigate. Yeah, it yeah. means to ask 
some questions. It means to labor. It means, look, it means you got to get in it. Y'all ain't going to help me here. You can't, look, you can't think that you're going to know the will of God if you don't seek the will of God. Yes, sir. If you don't spend some time with God, you won't know God. Yes, How many of you know there's a difference in knowing about God and then knowing God? Yes, See, when you talk about what your mama used to do, that's yeah. knowing of God. Uh -huh. When you talk about how your daddy was faithful, that's knowing of uh -huh. God. Yes, when you talk about grandma and how she used to go to church and bring you to church, that's knowing about God. But when you get to the point yes, to sir. where you get up early done playing your clothes the night before, set your alarm so you can be on time, not skipping here one Sunday and coming another Sunday, that's when you can say, I know, I wish yes, I had sir. Yes, sir. I know him for myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So oh, the question is, do you really know God? Uh -huh. Turn to somebody and ask them, do you really know God? Do you really know God? Come on, ask the other person on the other side. Do you really know God? Do you really know God? Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Love it. Hold on to that. Hold on to that definition. I'll be back in just a moment. But I got a question. What is it that you ought to have your eyes on? What is it that you ought to be seeing and seeking after? I see something in this text, Marcus, that suggests to me, Sister Gray, that before I tell you what you ought to be seeking, I need to tell you, Sister Miles, just how important it is that you should be seeking. Because uh -huh. <laughs> sure, maybe if I help you understand how important it is, maybe it'll provoke you to seek a little harder. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes, God forbid. God forbid, Jay. What, what if you just happen to get in a terrible car accident Lord. when you leave service today? What if you just happen, God forbid now, Miss Nation, you get in a terrible accident on tomorrow. Uh -huh. And Jalen, uh, you suffer several Injuries. Uh -huh. I'm trying to show you how things, some things are more important than others. Uh -huh. yeah. And you are transported to the nearest hospital. Uh -huh. And you have sustained, watch this now, from the crash, Marcus, you have sustained a small scratch on your hand. Uh -huh. Just a little small scratch, Selena. But then you also, Brother Tabor, have suffered a broken finger. Uh-huh. Uh, also, also, Brother Elliot, you got a hairline fracture in the ulna bone and a small break in the radius bone. Uh -huh. But your humerus bone, Marcus, uh -huh. but your humerus bone has been become detached, Brother Black, from the glino humeral okay. joint. And it also became detached from the scapula bone. All right. And it has also torn through your pectorius major. Uh -huh. But it also has torn through the latissimus dorsi. Uh -huh. But it also torn Lord. the deltoid and your rotator cuff. Uh -huh. I got one question for you. If the doctor asks you, what do you want me to start on first? Do you want me to deal with the scratch on your finger? Lord. Or do you want me to deal with your humerus bone uh -huh. that has torn loose from your I wish I had some help uh -huh. in here. What do you think the doctor, not matter of fact, forget the doctor, what do you think your answer is going to be? Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make you see this thing before uh -huh. I leave here today. Listen, if the doctor asks you, where do you want me to begin? So as I was, I just believe if you got one fourth of the sense of a sheep, mm -hmm. your answer would be, Jay, if you have to answer in Morris Cole by blinking your eye, uh -huh. Lord. your answer would be, <laughs> save 
my life. Uh -huh. yes. yes, sir. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes, sir. Because if I walk around like this, soon it's going to be ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Yes, sir. Sensational saints, I'm trying my level best to close this morning. But I need to tell you that all Jesus is saying is that whatever this thing is, that you ought to be seeing like him, uh -huh. that you ought to be keeping your eyes on, is not only important, but it is first priority. Amen. It comes first in your life. Yes, sir. Before your mama, hello, uh -huh. before your daddy, before your children, and before your spouse. Yes, sir. It comes first, Jalen, before your career, before your vacation, and your staycation. Uh -huh. Let me say that again. Yes, sir. Because some of us don't go away on vacation. <laughs> See, vacate means to, 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 uh, to leave. Right. Some of us go on staycations. Because uh -huh. we ain't got the money, David. We ain't got the money right now. So we just take off, Jalen, when we stay at home. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to help me here. All right. All I'm trying to get you to see, beloved, is that whatever Jesus' eyes were on, it was first priority. Yes, sir. Amen. Turn to somebody and ask them, what's number one in your life? What's, what's number, number one, one in your life? life? Come on. I want you to turn around and look at some, look, find somebody else that you ain't never said nothing to and ask them, what's number one in your life? What's, what's, what's number, number one, one in your life? life? I hope you're seeing this. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. But I hope you're seeing this this morning. I promise you, I preach to bring you to a decision. Yes, sir. I don't preach for popularity. Uh -huh. Marcus, if I had done it in 44 years of preaching, I ain't going to do it now. Huh? My job is not to make you like me. My job is not to make you leave here saying, oh, sure. But let Brother Miles throw down. And then somebody asked you, what was the point number one? Child, I don't know. I just know he preached. <laughs> Lord, Lord. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm preaching for. I'm preaching to bring you in direct confrontation yes. with the word of God that you might look at his image and conform your life to his image. See, the truth of the matter is, uh, Sister Gray, you can't fool Jesus. And you can't make him think, uh, Stephanie, uh, you can't make him think that what's number one in your life is what's number one in his life. If what's number one in your life is not truly what's number one in his life. Yeah. Listen to the sweet songster and the choir director of Israel. So Sir Jewel King David says in Psalms 33 and verse number 13, Brother uh, Kim, he says, The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. Is that in your Bible? Yeah. He looks down from heaven, Jorte, and he sees the whole human race. Yeah. If that wasn't enough for you, listen to it. Psalms 53 and 2, with New Living Translation. God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise. Now, what makes them wise? If anyone seeks God, talk is cheap. Let me say it again. You can walk around. You can walk around with your big family body. Oh, Lord, that's a big one. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can walk around with your big family Bible <laughs> with a Jesus pin on your back saying, praise the Lord. I'm too blessed to be distressed. Uh -huh. The Lord is good. Uh -huh. God ain't hearing none of that if your image is not conforming to your mouth. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm closing. I promise you I'm closing. I've been up here only 16 minutes. I got four minutes. Watch this. <laughs> Beloved, God knows if you are wise. Amen. Brother Elliot, he knows if you are seeking him in your time, watch this now, I'm closing, y'all help me now. All right. In your time, right. he knows, Selena, if you are seeking him in your time, in your talent, and in your treasure. Uh -huh. That means money, y'all. Uh -huh. 
David says, watch this. David says, God sees all, Sister Tori, uh -huh. and he knows if you got him first, Julie. Yes, sir. Yes. He knows it. Yes, sir. See, I done told you. I've been preaching long enough, 44 years, been pastoring about 30-some years, and I know well enough, David, in order for me not to have high blood pressure, in order for me not to get an attitude with members of the church and, and not want to speak to them and all that kind of foolishness, Jay, I've already learned I'm not going to argue with people. Because right. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. And I'm not trying to be your daddy. I'm not trying to be my kid's daddy. <laughs> they grown. But I will always be their advising parent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And my job as the evangelist of this church is to advise you of what God has said. Amen. Now, I want you to hear this, and I'm, I'm going to take my seat. He knows your time. He knows your talent. Uh -huh. And he knows your treasure. You know how he knows? Brianna, he gave it to you. Gave it to you. That's why he knows. He gave you everything you got. Mm -hmm. That's why he knows it. And like a good parent, I don't know about y'all, but when I bought toys at Christmas time, Brother Elliot, I watched to see how he was going to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. If they were strolling all over the house by the afternoon, because you know they get up early and open gifts. I, I know, Jay, by the afternoon, which one of those toys they really like. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And the ones they don't, so sorry. Yes, sir. But Black, I know which toys they appreciate uh -huh. and the ones they don't. Uh-huh. You know what their mother used to do? We didn't talk. We didn't keep talking. I'm going to keep talking to those kids. Mm -hmm. Margaret would gather them up. Take them and give them to some children yes. that will appreciate them. Yes, yes, sir. And you know what, Brother George, I discovered? Sometimes they didn't even recognize they, they were gone. gone. Right. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. George, they had no appreciation. Mm -hmm. Now keep that in mind. Because I'm going to throw you some curveballs. Uh -oh. Now mm -hmm. you say an amen on that. Say man, amen on this truth. <laughs> David said he sees your time. God sees, Sister Miles, the little two and a half hours that we give him a week. Uh huh. An hour and a half on Sunday. Uh, uh, and, 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 and just about an hour. Some of y'all don't give him an hour on Wednesday. You get down late and you're going early. Y'all ain't got to say amen. Look. Y'all know by now I'm a preach true. Yeah. Some of you get there late, 15 minutes late, and as soon as we say amen, say, see y'all later, good night. <laughs> but watch this. He sees the two and a half hours you give him a week. But he also sees all of the hours that you give your fraternities, your sororities, your clubs, your education, your boards that you sit on. He see all the countless hours, even when you begging for overtime on Sunday and ain't got to do it, but you beg for it. Now, I'm not talking about folk that got to work. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about folk who desire some selfish things for themselves and, and desire to take time away from God on Sunday to get it. Right, right, right. It's a shame how many times the leadership have asked of your time and some of you haven't volunteered not one minute. Right. When it was time to relocate this church and myself, Brother Spence, Brother Marcus, others stood up here and asked you to get with Brother Spence, volunteer some time for your own home church right. and some of you didn't offer a minute. Right. Say amen! Amen! amen. He sees that. But he also sees your talent. The countless hours that you spend using your talent for your career mm -hmm. and for various organizations mm -hmm. that you're involved in. Mm -hmm. But having volunteered to do not one thing for your own home church. Mm -hmm. 
It's a shame how many times a leadership have asked for your talent to help serve in a ministry for your own church family. But some of you have never volunteered one hour. Right. But he also sees your treasure. God sees how you budget for everything that's important to you before him. I said he sees, Marcus, how you open a Christmas fund Lord. to make sure you can buy gifts for your family. Uh -huh. He sees how you open a vacation fund uh -huh. to make sure you and your honey boo can go on vacation. He sees how you rob your electric bill or some other bill to pay some, for something else that you desire. Uh -huh. Maybe it's that new outfit, David, or to get your hair done, sister. He sees how you sacrifice to get that car you wanted. He saw how you sacrifice to get the home you wanted. Then he saw how you sacrifice to get the furniture for the home that you wanted. But he also sees how you have not pledged to give to him every Lord's Day as you prosper. I would be too afraid to plan for everything else in my life right. and then leave God out right. in his offering. I've been there. Let me tell you something. Marcus, I was just talking about me. Jay, I would be nervous, <laughs> crazy to get on an airplane Lord. to go have a good vacation jewel on a, on a white beach, white sand, Clear water. Could walk out, David, in the ocean. You could walk out a block and the water still only come to your knee. Clear. Could see the ocean. Look just a few feet away, Marcus, and it's deeper than deep. Mm -hmm. What beauty, what grandeur. But I would be terrified, not talking about me, to get on a plane, knowing that that plane got a fly on God's air. And I done took all his money with me on vacation. God sees your time. He sees your talents. And he sees your treasure. I'm over time again. Four minutes. I can't help it. <laughs> Beloved, listen to the word of God. And I'm going to take my seat. See, the picture of that, Marcus, is... When you put your hand in your wallet or your purse to give to God, he sees what's left in the purse. <laughs> and don't tell you what some people do. See, I've been doing this a long time. Don't tell you what some people do, Jay. They don't even bring it to church with them. They leave it at home so they won't feel guilty about taking a little bit out and putting it. Lord. I done told you God will let you have your fun. He'll start, he'll do two things, Iris. He'll either take that toy away from you, no matter what it is, house, car, whatever, he'll either take it away from you or he'll take you away from it. Right. Lord. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Neither one of them is good, Marcus. Right. Because if he take that house away from you and foreclose it, how pitiful would it be if you drive around and see the next family in it? Right. And know that the bank sold it to them for a whole lot less yeah. Yeah. than what you in debt for. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How about that car that you done spent your time, even on Sunday in this church, to wash that car? Mm -hmm. So you can go rolling in the heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then someone tear it up. Right. Uh, How pitiful. <laughs> How pitiful would it be? Terrible. But listen to the unfallible word of God. Hey, God. Chapter 1, verse 2 and 4, and I'll bid you farewell. Yeah. In the New Living Translation, Haggai, chapter 1, 2 and 4. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. Listen to that introduction. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. The people are saying, what the people saying, Sister Gray? The time has not yet come to reveal the house of the Lord. The Lord's house is second day. Mm -hmm. It ain't time, baby. We ain't got time for that right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to build my house, child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to get what I want. Look what it says. Then the Lord sent this message through the prophet Haggai. Why are you living in luxury houses while my house lies in ruin? Sister Miles, I would be scared to put anything of mine before the Lord. Now, in the text, he used the term house. But there's a principle here that applies to all things. Boy, some of us dress any kind of way to come to church. But Lord, don't look at your Facebook page. You look like you the queen of Sheba. The king of Jerusalem. Give God just anything. But child, when I go to this club, when I go to this dance, when I go to this prom, when I go to this school, child, I got, man, I got to give me a new outfit. Right. Now, I ain't going to call a person name, but I know somebody in this church. I can at least say they, they just love fashion. Uh -huh. They just love fashion. Mm -hmm. They're going to give their best at church, and they're going to get their best when they step out. I just tell you, you already got some. You'll meet you by nothing new. <laughs> I ain't going to call nobody name. I'm just, I, 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 I. The prophet of God, hey God, is showing us that the so-called conformers of God. Y'all stand on your feet. We're close. Hey God showing us, Marcus, that the so-called conformers of God had a lackadaisical, unconcerned, Brother Elliot, disposition about God's house. They had an unconcerned disposition about God's business. Mm -hmm. It was secondary to them. God's business was not first place in their life. What's number one? What's number one in your life? What's, what's, what's number one in your life? That's the question this morning. That's what I want you to leave. Mm -hmm. What's number one? Is it God? Was it you? Your things? Your desires? God has already said he's a jealous God. He will not be second. Right. He's either first or he's none at all. Right. Now don't be fooled because he's going to let you. He's going to let you have some things. Right. He's going to let He's going to do that. Because he's giving you another chance. Mm -hmm. He wants to see what you're going to do. Let me, let me try him again. Let me try again. But after a while, God gets tired. Mm -hmm. He gets tired That's right. of our rejection and our rebellion. Amen. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, the Bible said, for those who didn't love the truth and they kept rejecting God, I'm paraphrasing. He says, he says, God will get fed up and I will send them a strong delusion that they cannot believe truth. And then he's going to send you to hell. Right. That's the rebellious person that God keeps giving another chance and they keep saying, no, God, mm -hmm. it's my way. Right. It, it's, it's my way. Some of you still have not pledged for the 2023 mm -hmm. Capital Fund campaign. I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. You may not give what I give, but this is your home church. That's right. You know what we need to do. You know what we have to do. And we're going to prepare, a, a, we're going to have a report for you next week of what we've already done. And we thank those of you who have committed. And God bless you. And I know you're going to see a great blessing. But listen, you've got to put God first. Amen. Because he will not be second. You come by hearing the word of God, believing the same, repenting of your sins, confessing Christ to be the son of God, being baptized in the water of baptism for the remission of your sin. And then the Bible said the Lord will add you to the church. Acts 2, 41 and 47. Revelations 2 and 10 says, if you live faithful unto death, you'll receive a crown of life that shall never fade away. Right. If you need prayer, fill out a prayer request form. Let us pray for you. But my, my, my love to you this morning as I give you my final salutation. Take the Lord with you. Put him first. And take the Lord with you. Everywhere you're going. He will not fail you. Turn to somebody and say, he won't fail you. He won't fail you. You ought to take the Lord with you to the day, everywhere. Oh, yes, and you ought to take.
You ought to take the Lord everywhere you go. Amen. Lord have mercy. Great Amen. God from all high. You ought to take the Lord. Woo! I feel like saying it again. Everywhere. Everywhere you go. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, it is my city to pray. Now I have said something this morning holding up the image of Christ that you might conform to his image, therefore pleasing him by faith. Yes, sir. Because the Hebrew writer says that without faith, Hebrews 11 and 6, it is impossible for us to please God. Yes. And if we don't look like Christ, and if we don't act like Christ, and if we don't see like Christ, certainly we're not of Christ. Yes, sir. Next week we'll be in part five of this series. We're going to talk a little bit more about what Christ's eyes was focused on. Right. Sister yeah. Stephanie Holman responds this morning, thanking God for another day, praising God for his grace and mercy. I thank God for providing all of my needs and most of my wants. What a mighty God. Thank God for Sinclair's safe travel to and from South Carolina, asking prayers for my children, their health decisions, especially me, as she finds her path. Please pray for my extended family, my Aunt Ladorne, my Uncle Roosevelt and Uncle Rudy, Asking prayers for my CP family, Brother Miles and their ministry and families. Thank you, Stephanie. Their health and their strength. God bless you. Please pray for me, especially that I will develop a deeper relationship with my Father. Amen. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please pray for my health, my finances, fitness, my spending habits. I'm going to pray real hard, Stephanie. And my transportation. God bless you. It ain't, it ain't just that. You know, it's, something, it's something I think in the female makeup that when they see the word S-A-L-E in their <laughs> mind it says B-U-Y. Oh, Lord. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Lord. So Sister Jewel Woodard responds asking for prayers over my finances and as I make important financial decisions. God bless you, Sister Jewel. We're going to pray for you, dear. God bless you. Jarrell Smith, good morning. Thanking God for his grace and mercy. He shows me every single breath I take. Amen. God is good. He's good to me when I don't deserve it. I'm asking him to continue to allow me to trust him and to know and when I let go and lean on my own understanding and yeah. not lean on my own understanding, there's no mountain he cannot move. Amen. I want to ask a special prayer for my grandmother. She's in the hospital, but doing better. Please pray healing for her body and allow her to keep pressing on. Right. God bless you, Jarrell. Sister Iris Kennedy, thanking God for allowing me to see another day, asking for prayers for my son, Marcus, my grandson, for God's protection over them, asking prayers for my grandson's mom, Sierra, Shepherd, that God will touch her heart. And she will show love, respect to her family and me. Prayers for my CP family. Prayers for Brother and Sister Miles and their ministry. Thank you, baby. Prayers for CP upcoming events. Prayers for my strength and for my health and strength. Prayers that I trust God in all things, good or bad. Prayers for Jerry and Robert Campbell for healing. Prayers for Malik and Veronica Woods for healing. Prayers for each family on the prayer call 
thank you. Uh, prayers also uh, for my circle of friends. God bless you, Sister Irish. Mm -hmm. Then Brother Jalen Webster, I want to come now to only give God praise, but to also thank him for being present in my life. I want to also thank him for all he does for me and my family. Thank you, God, that I had an amazing time taking my son, Jaden Jr., to the Bulls versus the Lakers game. I pray to be uh, the best father I can be to my children Amen. by introducing them to God. Amen. Amen. And the culture as well as positive activities in life. Also, ask for special prayers for my mother and Joe, Jakai and Jante, Brianna's mother and her health physically, mentally, as well as Brianna spiritually, mentally, and physically. Amen. God bless you. Will you pray with me now? And then I ask you to, whenever you go down in your private prayer moments today, in your home or wherever, please remember the cares and concerns of your brothers and sisters. Amen. Let's pray together. Most holy, righteous, divine Father, creator of heaven and earth, creator of all mankind and the fullness thereof here in this world. We bow before you with humility, bowing as the sinner bows before the Savior. We bow, Father, as the creation bows before the creature. You are God, and we are man. We glorify you and magnify you for salvation that is found in your church, the Church of Christ, which is Christ's body, and he's the head of it, and he purchased with his blood. Father, we're praying this morning for Sister Stephanie Holmes, that you will continue to bless Sister Stephanie. Continue to give her the grace and the mercy that she stands in need of every day of her life. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for providing her needs and even her wants. Mm -hmm. We thank you for what you've done for Sinclair and her friends, taking them safely through their travel and their vacationing. Father, we're praying a special prayer for Nia, that you will lead, guide, and direct her in her decision that both her and Sinclair will dedicate their life back to you and allow you to be the head of their lives. Mm -hmm. Praying for her aunt, Ladorn, her uncle, Roosevelt, and Rudy, that you will bless them with health and strength. We're thankful for Sister Stephanie and Sister Iris and others who pray constantly on behalf of myself, Sister Miles, this church, our ministry, and our family. Mm -hmm. Continue to bless us with health and strength. Continue to crown Sister Miles in my head with wisdom and knowledge. Father, keep us humble but yet bold. Bold enough, humble enough to exalt you, but bold enough to exalt your word. Right. Father, we're praying that we will forever be behind the cross and that when we stand before your people, the women and men of God, that they will not hear our voices, but they will hear the message that comes from your holy and divine word, backed up with book chapter. And verse. Amen. Father, we're praying this morning. We're praying for Stephanie. That you will give her that deeper understanding Amen. of your word that she might have a deeper relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Remind Stephanie that Paul still says in Romans 10 17 that faith is strengthened by the word from which it comes. Amen. So help her to have a closer relationship and study time, a purpose time, mm -hmm. personal study of your word that she might grow strong. And then Father, we're praying for her health, her finances, her fitness, her spending habits, her transportation. We ask you to grant Stephanie favor in all of those areas. Mm -hmm. Bless Sister Jewel now. She's coming before you, Father, asking for your lead, your guidance, in her decision-making financially. Mm -hmm. Father, you know what's before Sister Woodard, and you know what she needs to do. So we're asking in the mighty name of Jesus that you give her the wisdom to make the right decisions that she might be blessed financially. Father, we're praying for Brother Jarrell. Asking you to continue to bless him with grace and mercy as you have. Continue to lead and guide him in this life 
Father, we're praying that you will continue to watch over him and give him a deeper understanding of your word. And that it will assure his faith that there's no mountain too high, no valley too low, that you cannot give him the victory. We pray now for his grandmother. We're thankful for what you've already done for grandmama. But Father, we're asking you to completely heal her body. Raise her from that sick bed, bring her home, lengthen out the threads of her life that she may live many more years filled with love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. And then I'm asking, Father, that you continue to give Jarrell the comfort and the favor that he desires upon his life. Praying for Sister Irish now. Father, come praying for her son, Marcus, that you will touch his heart, guide Marcus, praying that he will soon return to the household of faith. Praying that you will watch over Zayden, protect him, Lord, give him health and strength. We're praying for Zayden's uh, uh, grand, uh, his mother, uh, Father Sierra, that you will touch her heart, give her a tender heart, Father, that she might respect herself and respect others, Father, and that she will be an example to her son, an example of a loving, kind, respectful mother. We're praying for the Central Point Church, for the leadership and the membership, that we will all be faithful, dedicated, and committed to the Lord's work in this vineyard. Father, we're so thankful for the upcoming events that we have on our calendar. And we just pray, Lord, that you will bless every member of this church to govern themselves, their personal life, of, around the calendar of their church family. That they will all be present, Father, when we come together. That we may have a joyous relationship, a joyous fellowship mm -hmm. as we honor you and lift up your holy name. Mm -hmm. Bless Iris with health, with strength, Father. That she will continue to trust you and choose faith over fear. Right. Bless Robert and Jerry. Bless them with healing, comfort, and strength. Mm -hmm. Praying for Malik and Veronica. That you will bless them with healing, comfort, and strength. Then, Father, we're praying for our prayer line family that meets every morning at 6.30, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. that you will bless every family, keep us strong, mm -hmm. help us to continue to love and encourage one another through our prayer and our devotion. Mm -hmm. And then, Father, we ask you to be with Iris' circle of friends. Use her to be a shining light mm -hmm. and a hope of glory in her relationship with her friends. Mm -hmm. Then we're praying for Brother Jalen Webster, our dear brother. Father, asking you to continue to bless Jalen. Continue to bless his life and health and strength. Continue to bless uh, his relationship with his sons and his daughters. That he will be the greatest father, spiritual father, that he could be. Thank you for the fellowship you gave him and the safe travel to and from Chicago. And then, Father, we're praying that he will bring his children up in the fear in the admonition of the Lord. Amen. And then, Father, we're praying a special prayer for uh, Brother Joe and Sister Tyra, for Jakai and Jante, for Brianna's mother, for Brianna herself. We're praying for their spiritual well-being, their mental well-being, their physical well-being, Father. Keep them forever in your care. Amen. Then, Father, we're praying for those who are not with us, those we lifted up before, be, before you earlier in the worship. You know who they are. You know what they need. Mm -hmm. We ask you in the mighty name of Jesus to provide their every need. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, we're praying that this word that has gone forth this morning will find a resting place in the hearts of all of those who are under the sound of my voice here in this sanctuary and in the cyber sanctuary, mm -hmm. that it will prick their hearts and that they will conform to your son's very image, mm -hmm. that you might be pleased and they might be blessed. Mm -hmm. When it's yours to call and now to answer, we ask for a peaceful hour in death, trusting that we shall never die at the hands of man by mechanical failure or accident, but simply sleep away in sweet peace. And hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant on the other side of this life. This is our prayer now. We ask in your holy son, Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. 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 There's an old song that says, I feel good. I feel good. Because there's something about the name of Jesus. That makes me feel good. Amen. I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among the saints of God. At this time now, we ask that you will concentrate 
that you will set your heart and mind on the next phase of our worship, and that is communion, communing with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then giving back just a portion God asked for. Amen. Not all of it. He asked for just a portion of that which he has blessed you with, trusting that you will be faithful stewards. God bless you. Come now to the part of the worship where we are to commune with our Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. The Bible tells us in Acts 20 and verse 7 that upon the first day of the week, the disciples came together to break bread. Yeah. Jesus instituted this on the night before he was betrayed. Yes, sir. In Matthew 26, 26. The Bible also tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning in verse 23, mm -hmm. Paul writing to the church at Corinth. Yeah. He says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Yeah. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, mm -hmm. Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Yeah. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. Mm -hmm. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Yeah. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Yes. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Yeah. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily mm -hmm. shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. That's correct. But let a man examine himself, mm -hmm. and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Mm -hmm. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily Eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the yeah. Lord's body. That's correct. This is a time that we just take for granted yeah. when we partake of the Lord's Supper. We have to remember what the Lord has done for us. Yes, sir. Let us examine ourselves and partake of it in a worthy manner. Let us give thanks. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity to commune. We thank you for the sacrifice that you made. You had so much love for us, Father, that you gave your life for us. We pray that each and every one of us would think of you and look to you to be the author and finish of our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it's the sowing and the reaping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you sow bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. Yeah. If you sow sparingly, you're going to reap bountifully. Mm -hmm. you're, going to, you're going to reap sparingly. Mm -hmm. He tells us in verse 7, every man, according as he purposed in his heart, let so give. let him give, yeah. like yeah. grudgingly of necessity, oh, God. for God loveth the cheerful giver. Yeah. And God is able to make all grace abound toward yeah. you. That you always have in sac so all sufficiency and all things may abound in every and that's the thing that we have to keep in mind. Yeah. We want all the blessings for God. Yeah. Do we want to give back to God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God gives us so much. Yes, he, he gives does. us our health and our yes, strength. He, he gives us our jobs. He yeah. gives us the ability to make this money. Yeah. But then we want to keep this money. <laughs> And it's not ours. We it belongs to the Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another opportunity to give. We're thankful for your many blessings. And we pray, Father, that you open up the windows of heaven and bless thank us in you. every way. We pray that each and every one of us would give bountifully to you. Amen. Because you give bountifully to us. Yeah. We pray that these funds will be used to build up your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lord, we need the Lord. We need Hallelujah. Since I laid my burden to die. Lord, we need the Lord. We need Extravaganza, egg extravaganza. 
uh, weekend. Uh, Saturday, uh, the 8th at 11 uh, a.m. for uh, egg coloring and, yes, uh, and uh, uh, egg coloring activity. And then Sunday uh, is the Easter egg hunt. Is that just for kids? <laughs> or, you know, can I hunt? Can I hunt too? Uh, okay, all right, all right. You know, I like candy too. No, no but uh, great time for the kids. And again, uh, we just appreciate those that are putting this together. Amen. Uh, men's training. Amen. 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 All right. Did I got the men saying amen? I hope. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, but, uh, but uh, basically, we look forward to you being here, mm-hmm. and uh, we again want to uh, help each other uh, to uh, lead our worship service. You right, know? Right. Uh, and I, I, I'm going to challenge some of you. Right. You know, that come out of your comfort zone, That's and right. Yeah. That's right. um, everybody had a first time to pray. Yeah. Everybody right. had every time. Anybody you see up here. Had a first time, That's right. and, uh, That's and right. it's it's good to help have family That's right. helping you. Amen. Like that's 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 how you get to the point where you can stand uh, before even there's even times where I still get nervous right. when sure. I'm doing different things. I sure. mean, uh, but the more you do it, the better that you can be, and it, it's right along with what the Bible is talking about. God knows right. your talents, he knows. and sometimes we try to. Hold our talent down, so, you know, but but God knows. So right. we ask you to be there and only gonna keep you an hour, you know, and it'll be short, but it's gonna be it's gonna be strong. Oh, amen. amen. Uh ladies' prayer and devotion. Uh the next one is Thursday the 13th at 6:30 uh p.m. Uh, and uh we're gonna ask you to be a part of that and to, to uh, invite somebody to be a part of it as well. Friends and family weekend. Uh, coming up, all right. Uh, that is going to be Saturday, April fifteenth. Amen. 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 All right, all right. So that's Saturday. Um, we'll have um, at start at five o'clock the ISU uh, bowling and billiards. All right. So we'll be bowling, and you know, we usually see a lot of some of y'all. I, y'all ain't always, I mean, I'm watching y'all, y'all playing them cards and stuff oh, like that. Uh, some of y'all, boy, I don't, I don't know. Jalen, I don't know. And like like Jalen on that pool table, and, you, know, you know. But we have a good time, and that's the time that you can invite your family and friends to come along, and, um, and we'll be there from 5 to 7. And then that Sunday, we want you to bring everybody on Sunday to worship with us. Amen. Amen. We have a great time in the Lord as a family. Amen. 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 Um, National Associated Celebrated uh, Seniors. Um, we're getting there. Um, so it'll start Friday, the t- the, the, the 21st. I say, Sister Miles, like, we've, been, we've, been, we've, been, we've been announcing this for about two years. Yeah, you know. Are so we here now? If you, if you don't know nothing about this, Right now, you have not listened. No, 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 about this. No, no. So, so, if you are, if you interested and you ain't done nothing by now, you, 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 you know, you ain't really interested. So, so, but um, I know that Sister Oliver, you, you, you play, you, you play a little girl. So, we have somebody that's going, so she'll be able to tell us and give us a report and then maybe take some pictures or something like that. Or, I'm sorry, I don't mean to give you. <laughs> But, uh, but it's good for somebody to be able to come back and tell us, how, you know, what, what we missed and, and that sort of thing. So, all right. So we, we pray for that efforts and that, um, you know, it's just a great time in the Lord. Um, Lady Zoom Fellowship, um, the next one will be April 23rd at 5 p.m. That's Living in God's Kingdom Woman, uh, that class taught by Sister Ma. Um, the, uh, the Family Fair Initiative. And, uh, Incorporated uh, will be having their education award ceremony on Zoom Saturday, May 13th. Um, a meet and greet at 2.30 p.m. and the program at 3. Um, in the bulletin, there is a Zoom ID and a passcode for those that will be um, interested. But it's a great thing that's going on, um, giving out you know money, uh, scholarship money for uh, education uh, for, for young people. It's really great. Um, 
Central Park Prayer Request um, um, email. Um, that's um, cpcocilpray at gmail.com, um, where we'll be glad to pray uh, for you and your family. For you and your family. Um, CP giving options, uh, you see uh, those stated. Um, so continue uh, to use uh, to use those to be able to give back to the Lord. Uh, Central Point Prayer Request Line, 6.30 a.m., uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, and uh, it's a great way uh, to start your day. Uh, prayer list. Uh, continue to pray for Dr. Ophir Miles. Um, continue to pray for uh, the Hallman family, uh, AJS Management Logistics Incorporated, uh, David and Gypsy Jones. Cliff Pugh and family, Matthew and Ramona Miles, Ms. Florian Boltman, uh, the Cannon family, Stephen Black and family, Daisy Jones, Laura Jackson and family, as well as others that have requested prayer that have given more specific prayer requests. Uh, incorporate those into your daily prayer life. It, 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 it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Um, April uh, birthdays. Um, we have Linda Bradley on the uh, third, and uh, we have uh, Faye Meta Jackson, Sister Faye. Yeah, everybody, if y'all know from the Bible class, y'all everybody knows Sister Faye, right? All right, all right. All right. We love Sister Faye. So, uh, her on the fourth. We got Gypsy Jones on the ninth. Uh, we got David McKinney Jr. on the on the ninth as well. Julius Shannon on the, the 12th. Uh, Margaret Johnson, Sister J, on the 22nd. Uh, Terry Sumlar on the 22nd. And uh, Janice Black on the on the, uh, the 23rd. Got some heavy hitters on coming up uh, following at the end of that month, huh? Uh -huh. And we got some anniversaries. Uh, uh, Sister Pam Garrett and her husband, Randy and Pam Garrett. Their anniversary is on the 3rd, and uh, Albert and Vanell Gray on the 26th. Amen. 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 If there's nothing else, uh, if I haven't omitted anything, I will turn it over to Brother Miles. Thank you, Brother Miles. We can be standing. We're going home. We can be standing as we prepare to go home. Again, it's wonderful to see each and every one of you on this morning. This is my sincere prayer. And that you will take the Lord with you everywhere you go. Amen. 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 And please, let's not forget now, Brother Marcus has told us, April 15th and 16th, that's family weekend. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, look around. Take, take a moment to just look around. Look around. Now, we should, if nothing else, we should have double the amount of people in here Amen. if everybody just brought one family member. Amen. All right? And I'm going to work on my family member all the way in Chicago and see if they'll come down and be with us. Uh, but let's let's have a great week. Those are some fun weekends. Mm -hmm. And Brother Amen. Marcus and the leadership that works together put that together. We have a great time. And Jalen, you've been doing all that talk about that pool. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I got, I got my, my stick is already in my car. Oh. <laughs> I got already in the car. Just show up, Jalen. Just show up. Uh, but we're gonna have a good time. Amen. 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 Well, Jay, good to see you back. Uh, we can tell that you you missed the family. Yes, you Lord. showed up singing. Amen. 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 It's good to see all of you all. It's good to see all of you. Don't forget, we're gonna give you your cards. I hope and pray that you're not leaving these cards in your car, that you're not leaving them on your coffee table, you that you're passing them out and inviting Amen. folks to come to the Lord. Amen. 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 I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Oh, we're all part of God's family. Sing it again and I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Oh, we're all part of God's family. Well, now when you leave today, don't forget to pray. You should always sing. He is the only way. He'll keep you in his arms. He'll keep you from all. He'll break us back again. And we will all be one. Oh, I'll break for you. Will you break my sheep? Oh, we're all a part of God's family. Sing it again and I'll break for you. Will you break me? Yeah.
our wise and merciful Father, we, first of all, thank you. We thank you for blessing us to get to this point, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the service today. The prayers, the song, and Heavenly Father, the word. Heavenly Father, help us to leave here better than we came, Heavenly Father. Help us to encourage one another because, Heavenly Father, we all have fall down, Heavenly Father. Amen. Help us to encourage each other to get back up, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with us as we leave today, Heavenly Father, that you put your loving arms and protection around us, Heavenly Father, and you bless us and protect us until that time that we're able to come together again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, Ed. You know what we can do? You know what we can do? You're still my agent. <laughs> still my agent. <laughs>